I'm Matt from Assemble, um, and we were approached by Art on the Ground to have a look at a site which is on Seven Sisters Road itself. It's got a post cabin on one side, bike racks, and you know, it's, it's generally just a bit of the city that's it's not really that cared for. It's not a blockbuster entrance, but it's quite unusual in the Victoria line in that it's got quite a long, almost like forecourt. And the kiosk itself has been empty for about a decade. By doing something quite modest, um, or at least in terms of scale, could have quite a big impact. The heritage that we were looking at in terms of tiles and tile making and, and the civicness of tube stations gave us a bit of a clue as to how we should treat it. My name is Matthew Raw. Uh, I'm an artist specialised working in clay. Uh, and the guys at Assemble got me involved in this project to help them produce the cladding for the Art in the Underground project at Seven Sisters. I got involved in a technical capacity, so after a few sessions, we kind of came up with the idea of colouring the clay. So instead of glazing a tile, in this case yellow, the whole tile is yellow, and it's a case of working into the clay and exploring the possibilities of, of colouring it and decorating it, but really getting hands-on with the material rather than just a kind of a sheen or a, a finish to that, which is the traditional way of making tiles. So this, um, this clay is yellow the whole way through, and that's achieved by adding um, a commercial stain into the clay body. You can see that there are some little air pockets in the in the clay and we don't really want them ideally in the process making process so he's uh, using a technique called wedging which is kind of a kneading process um, mixing to just regulate the body and make sure that it's nice and smooth so if you do it wrong yeah you can introduce air but if you do it right and Gerald's unfortunately for Gerald he's brilliant at, at wedging so that's uh, <laughs> that's why he's at the end wedging once we have a, a nice wedged body the guys will take a section off the top and they'll bring it into a uh, roll. Um, and the, the technique that we developed was a method of rolling it flat, but not fully flat, and then introducing something that we call slugs. In Holly's tile, we can see that there has been a blue and green clay mixed together and marbled but if you, you can see that it's actually ingrained in the tile itself. Each tile is the same size and it's the same um, consistency and, and, and thickness, but Adam's tile is different from Holly's, which is different from Matt's. The idea was is to celebrate the fact that we could get into the clay body and make each tile bespoke. At the moment, we're making all the flat tiles, so about 600 of those, and then there's quite a few special bespoke forms, so wrap around corners and form sills and things. The idea is that we're going to make some of those on the site because they're quite specific to the form of the, the kiosk. I love anything making, anything like hands-on, so it's just great to sort of like just play around. And with each of the layouts, I've tried to do quite a different composition, so they've ended up being very varied. <laughs> Yeah, it's sort of nice how the different styles emerge from different people. Let's go. Let's load it. Yeah, at this stage, they're bone dry, and this is the time when they're the most uh, brittle, so you've got to handle them uh, quite carefully. That would snap if I, if I tried to break it, and that will be covered in glaze, and then reintroduced to the kiln. So we're, we're getting our eye in different techniques. That's the fried, the fried egg technique. Um, that's putting a bit of yellow on top of a, a slug. That's a classic Gerald. I remember doing that one. It's going to be fun to lay them all out and try and communicate that to Tyler that we want a different range of different styles. The fun with these tiles is to try and introduce that uh, element of chance and like the trace of, of the maker and not to necessarily fetishize that but to kind of give this kiosk a sense of it being something that's made rather than something which just you know appears we were quite interested in the opportunity to do things which I guess made it feel as though it was loved and it made it feel as though that that little bit of Seven Sisters was was special enough for someone to put that time and care into it. <laughs>